Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Check out the size of this box, this is absolutely ginormous. Uh, as you can see, we're now doing pack 11 of the 1967 Shelby GT500 Super Snake from Agora Models. This is just one ginormous box, so uh, I'm just going to put this on the floor. And as you can see what's in the box, we're doing all the bodywork and frame today. Um, really heavy box this was, absolutely brilliantly packed with uh, polystyrene holding all these bits together. But as you can see, I do have a towel here because we don't want to be scratching these pieces today. So when I'm working on it, I will be having the towel down on my work surface there to uh, make sure that we don't uh, scratch any of the paintwork. Now, at the moment, we've got the rolling chassis up here, as you can see, uh, and we've got the bodywork down here. I've taken the bit off that we did last time, which is just there. Uh, we're gonna be fitting all these together today, but if you wanna get up to the stage I'm up to at the moment, all you need to do is go down to agoramodels.com website here. You can subscribe to this through pack one. You now have the option to buy the full kit in one go if you want to, and you'll be able to get this vehicle up to the stage we're up to at the moment. So, uh, but it's looking absolutely brilliant. Now, remember over at the Gore Models website, you have got some other builds. We've got the Zero Fighter coming next year. We've got the Bismarck coming next year. And at the moment, you can also get the Terminator. And up there, we've got the uh, Shelby Cobra, which we did uh, last week, I believe that was. But uh, anyway, I just cannot wait to start doing this bodywork. So without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, I've got my towel laid down here just like this. Uh, I'm going to bring over the bodywork here and we want to turn this upside down. And as you can see, nice and soft actually on this section here. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be affixing the front uh, wings that we worked on in the last stage just onto the front of the vehicle here. Now this is all metal, as you can probably expect. It's very, very, very um, heavy as well. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put some sort of like... Um, jig under here because these are going to be going in here just like that and obviously I want to secure this into place. Now to do that what I've done is I've taken some of the boxes of what we're going to be doing in the next stages and just line that on there so far so that when I put this on it's going to be easy to actually put these into place on here. Now these are going to be held in by two screws each side and they are MD06 screws. Now these screws actually come in the polystyrene of the box that the main frame comes in. So uh, that's where you'll find these screws. Now I've just put these screws into some oil because we are going into metal and there might be a chance that there's some paint in where the threads of those screws go. So I'm gonna put the first screw in here. Just enough just to hold it into place for a minute. I'm going to put all the screws in using again a little bit of oil here. Put one on this side. Then I'll do the other two, and then what I'm going to do is tighten them all completely up. That's three. Last one. number four is over this side just at the back here and now I'll make these as tight as I can possibly get them and there we go that is the front attached I can move these out of the way now just like that to the car I mean just looking at that uh, not any no cameras can actually show that it's probably gonna be best actually on the front camera here let me just have a check there you go look that is massive but it looks absolutely brilliant look how flawless that paintwork is as well it's really heavy really heavy but that is all there is to do in that stage now the advantage of being on a towel is that i can just drag it away knowing that i'm not dragging any of the uh, bodywork along the surface here uh, but this is the next part so we're going to be working on in stage 84 we have got the uh, scoops here so uh, let's get these out so we've got the lower scoops looking just like this here uh, they do have an l on for left and an r on for right and then the upper scoops as you can see are slightly smaller but once again they do have l 
and they do have R on them as well. We've also got some screws which are MP01. So I'm going to bring the vehicle back over and we're going to be working on this section first. This side of the vehicle here is the left side of the vehicle. So we want to put the left scoop in here. So I'm going to make sure I've got the right one here and said this is labelled L for left. And quite simply, this is just going to go in just like that. Now it's going to be held from the other side with an MP01 screw. So what's probably best now is to turn the vehicle over knowing where this goes. Just on this side here. Put it back in here like that and we'll hold that in with the MP01 screw. Now as you can see we don't actually need the main car for this. All of this is going to be worked on the bodywork here. So here's the MP01. We're going into plastic so this isn't going to need any oil. But we do want to make sure that that screw is nice and tight. And there we go, that one's in. We're going to do the same just on the other side here. So once again, making sure that the actual front of this vent is pointing towards the front of the vehicle. So that's going to go in that way there. And once again, we'll put an MP01 screw just in the other side. Now for me, it's easier if I... Notice I'm spinning the towel and not the car. You don't want to be doing that. So, this one on this side here. nice and tight and I've got the left uh, scoop here looking just like that that's actually just going to go above this exactly the one we put in there it's going to go in just like that there and once again we're going to hold this in with two MP01 screws just into the holes here so while I've got it this way I think what I'll do is I'll do the right hand side one first so I'll put the first screw in here doesn't need to be too tight until I get the second one in here's the second one and we'll get this as tight as we can get it there we go that's that side once again I'm holding the sides of the towel here I'm going to spin that round so I'm spinning the towel and not the part just like that and then we're going to put this one in just on this side here so I've just put one in there just to hold it in I'll get the second one in here now and we'll tighten these up and when they're all in I'll just turn this over as you can see they look like this on that side and that on that side they're in nice and secure they're not going anywhere that's all there is to do in that stage so now I'm going to take this whole thing and move it completely off the workstation because we're now doing the bonnet and the headlight grills loads to do on this so uh, let's get this open so this is what everything looks like when it's open I'm just going to take this to the far side because what we need is just this grill section looking just like that so this is the grill and it's got some little tabs just into these holes here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you bend these tabs. I'm using my tweezers here towards the interior of the grill here. Now, if you have a look at this grill, all the tabs here have got a little notch in them just on the edge here. That will be the direction we actually bend the tabs. I mean, actually, we can just bend them by hand because of that notch there. So if they're going that way, then obviously the grill front is going to be going in here with the badge. So what I'm going to do, I've got the badge here. All we have to do is just push this through the hole. So one, and I'll get the other one in as well, two. And as you can see, that's the badge in. It holds itself in no problems at all because the tab's on there. All we need to do now is just fold the rest of these tabs down at 90 degrees. Now I'm using my fingers here or well, you can use a flat edge like uh, sometimes I use my duckbill pli pliers here just to help with that. So I'll do these two on this side. But you do need to make sure that you've put them in the right way because you have got some notches there which are going to help you bend that. Now making sure it's this way round, we're going to be putting this this way so the badge is upright and this is the way that the grill is going to go. So this is going to go through here so I'm just going to uh, line that up. That's one side, two side. The tabs here, you might need to bend them down a little bit more if you can't get it in here. Just 
just going to use my tweezers just to help me get the last two in there there we go and now that grill is fully flat in there but to keep that in place all we're going to do is turn it back and then we're just going to bend the taps back to hold that into place so there's two on that side one two on that side and then just the two at the top and when that's done that's what the grill should look like in place now we haven't seen this for a long time have we this was got all the way back from issue one i think but this is where we're going to actually put the grill so once again i've got a tea towel here that i'm using i'm going to lie that on there like that turn it over because this is actually going to go into this section just here like that so for the top when it's done it's going to look just like that we're going to hold this in with some mdo2 screws now once again this is going in to metal so i've put a little bit of oil on these screws here's the first one just like that and the second one these screws have got a little flange on them so it enable us to uh hold this in no problems at all just line this up a bit better there we go and we'll screw that side in as well nice and tight there we go and there we go that's the front grille headlights into the vehicle and now we're going to be pushing these headlights in check them out they look good now these headlights are labeled l and r so you know to put them on the left or right side important to note they do have sort of like a screw hole at the top here uh, that's going to enable us to actually put it in because there is a tilt on there and we want the tilt of the screw hole to be near the top so when i put these in this is the left one here i'm going to be putting it in this way round, just like that and there we go when that's in it should look just like that and if i turn it round, as you can see the screw is at the top there and this is the left hand side one so we're going to do the same with the right hand side one once again put it in at an angle to the top and then push it home when you're pushing it in you want to support the grill you don't want the grill to be uh coming out but as you can see that's the right hand side one in and once again as you can see the screw is at the top there they do hold themselves in no problems at all but when that's finished it should look just like that and i'll show you on this camera because that is just so impressive <laughs> but that's all there is to do in that stage <laughs> Now I'm gonna take the hood of the vehicle looking like that and just put it on this mat again, this way around, because we're gonna start putting in the hood hinges just into this side here. So all the hood hinges come in pack 86. And they look just like this, so we'll get this open. Okay, so the first thing we need are the hood hinges. They look just like this. And they're actually just gonna go either side of the inside of the hoods here, going over this ledge. Make sure you've got your bonnet or your, your hood section on something protective here. They're going to go in just like that and they're going to be secured in from this side here with an md10 screw now they look like those now we do have mp10 screws in this one as well so don't confuse them you want the ones that are going into metal md10 screws so once again because i am going into metal i'm going to put a little bit of oil on that just to help me out line that up and i'll screw this in there we go and that one's in absolutely perfectly do the same on the other side here again i didn't just spin that if you notice i picked it up to turn it round. so here's the second one over this side get that all the way in and there we go that's the rear hinges in place there i'm just going to put that to one side because now we're going to be creating the hinges and what we need to do is we need to take the hinge here and the hinge support here all together we're going to put them together now they are labeled this one says l we're going to be working on the left hand side one first and the left hand side hinge looks just like that we're going to be attaching it just over this section like that there now this is going to be held in with an mp10 screw an mp10 we don't want to put it in too far so let's do that now now they do have a flange on them as you can see there so we'll get this in there we go that's in like that now it needs a little tiny bit of resistance but not too much so don't over tighten the screw because it's going to need to move as the hood is lifted there 
Now this is going to be going on the left side of the hood. So this is the left side of the hood. If I turn it around that way, that would be the left side. And we're going to be putting this semicircular section here just through the hinge that we put in there. And we're going to be putting an MP10 screw in this side as well. And again, we want this to move so we don't want to over tighten this. So I'll put that in enough just to have a tiniest bit of resistance on there. That one's probably just a little tiny bit. I can always, tight, um, always tighten this up afterwards, but that's perfect. As you can see, that's gonna go up there and down, no problems at all. And then we just wanna put the other side of the hinge just into the other side of the uh, main bonnet here, but we're gonna be using a different screw for that because it's going into metal, so we want MD09. So line that up. We'll get that in there and screw that down again we don't want this to be too tight just enough to keep that in place you want to make sure that it, it can do the whole circuit of that semicircular there so I can go all the way down there and all the way up there so all we have to do now is spring load this we've got some springs here that's just going to go into the lip there and it's going to go round the lug just at the top there. Now what I recommend to put the, sp the spring on is to actually put the hinge all the way up the top there. Put this in over this section here. And then get it over that section just like that. Now we don't want this spring falling out. So we've got some MP03 screws looking just like that with big flanges on them just like that we're going to be putting that in here and that will stop that spring coming out so again put that all the way in and then we should be able to operate the hinge just like this and it's provided some spring to that hinge there we're going to do the same on the other side now so that's what that now looks like from that side and that's what it looks like with the two hinges in now i'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this one away and bring over the body again. We're now going to be attaching the bonnet, probably on the uh, side camera's best here, onto the vehicle. And as you can see, we've got the hinge holes here. Now these are going to be going over the top of these two sections here. So what we need to do is sort of introduce the bonnet at an angle. So it's going to go in kind of like that. And then I've just got to drop that in. There we go. Lining it up perfect. And they're going to be held in place with two times MD12 screws. Again, we're going into metal. These look like that. So I'm going to put some oil on these. So to start off with, I'm just going to put one screw in here. Just to hold that into the first hole on the frame. I'm not going to put any more in until I've lined up this side as well. Which is now lined up. So again, I put a little bit of uh, oil on here. Get this one in over here to get that into place and now I'll screw all the other screws into the last two holes we've got there and there we go as you can see that's the bonnet in place now if you've got a problem where you've got too much of a gap on one side here not enough of a gap on the other side with these fenders you just need to adjust the fenders so to do that to turn it back over because I've got a little bit of a gap just at this side here you can adjust it from these up angles just down the bottom here oh yeah that looks lovely and smooth now absolutely perfect so happy with how that looks and that is all there is to do in that stage <laughs> Now in stage 87, we're gonna start working with the electrics and we've got some horns to put in as well. Now to start this, we've got two horn sections here. One's gonna be going on the right side of the vehicle, over this side, just like that. One's gonna be going on the left side, over this side, just like this. Now they're gonna be held in with MP01 screws. Now you know what way they go because the right angle of the horn here, when this is over the top, needs to be following the right angle of the frame here. So it's not this one I need, it's gonna be this one I need in here. So the right angle here is following the frame there. It's gonna be secured to the back hole that we can see on here, the back screw hole here. So here's the first one. Just 
and that's in place. We're going to do the same on the other side there and secure that into place as well. And there we go, that's the two horn sections into place. Probably best on the side camera, but we are going to be fitting the center bracket looking like that. That's just going to go over the two holes that we can see either side here, just like that. Now this is going to be held in with two MD05 screws. And once again, because it's got D in the title, I'm going to uh, be putting this in with some oil. That's the first one. going to turn this around because it'd be easier for me and there's the second one make sure this is in really tight there we go there should be no wobble and that should be quite secure in there no problems at all now keeping on this camera we're going to be putting hood pins in either side here so when this goes down the hood pins are going to go through these holes here so what we need to do is we need these there's d shapes in here we need to get the hood pins and put these in so the D shape at the bottom here matches that hole there. So here's the first one. These can be brittle, so you want to put them in. And when you push, you'll hear a click as they go into place. We do the second one here on the other side here. Again, make sure I've got it round the right way. Put it in. Just like that and you heard that click so theoretically when i put the bonnet down now those hood pins should go through the holes here which as you can see they do no problems at all that's excellent <laughs> now i'm going to keep this open now because we're going to be attaching the electrics to the headlights so i'll move the main body of the vehicle away and we're going to be bringing over the frame that we worked on last time and we're going to be taking the led which is labeled 07 here. Now this has got two LEDs on. You've got one that's joined in the center here and one that's joined that's gonna go off to the right. So the one that's joined in the center, we're gonna to wanna to push just into the left-hand side one here. So I'm gonna push it in so it's vertical to the light. So it's just gonna be pushed in just like that. We're then gonna take a number eight cable, exactly the same way. We're gonna take the middle cable here and we're going to put that into the right hand side just like that then we're going to want to route these cables just through these sections here and now probably best on the top camera we're going to be feeding this through here and we have got a wire tidy that's going to go either side of the two points that we can see in there so when we put these in so i'm going to do like this this wire tidy is going to go across them and the wires are going to come up each side here so it's probably best if I do this and then I'll show you what that looks like. So when that's in, it should look just like that. That's what the wire tidy should look like. I'll show you on the close up there. Then we actually wanna put these just into these holes here. Now when we put them in the headlights here, remember these are only pushed in. So we need to support them from the front as we push them in. So that's the first one. And there's the second one and you want to get rid of the excess just on the wires here but that looks really good now just at the front here on the bottom you can see we've got some holes here they're going to be for the fog lenses here and quite simply they're just going to push into the holes and once again push that into place they won't come out whoops <laughs> and there we go that's what the fog lenses look like when they're in now, if you need to use a little bit of glue to keep these in, then I recommend using something like Micro Crystal Clear. This actually dries completely clear and it will keep it in place. You won't get no glue marks or anything like that on that. Now we're going to be attaching this whole thing here to the car. But what we need to do, these are going to get in the way. So what we need to do is fold them down so they fit flush to this side here. We're going to do the same on the other side there. So they're flush, just like that. Now let's bring over the vehicle. Now I've got the side camera on to show this, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna thread the wires here through the holes, just in the fascia of the front of the vehicle here. One and two, and I'm gonna pull them. And as I pull them, I'm gonna offer up the fender to the front of the vehicle here. And then I, hopefully you can see it on the other camera here, we've got four holes 
to screw this to the front of the vehicle here. Now we're going to be securing that in with MD06 screws. So I'm just going to lie this gently back down again, just while I get those screws open. Once again, we're going into metal, so I am going to put a little bit of oil on these. So I've got the top one lined up. Let's get the first screw in. And that's just going to hold it in place for me just for a second while I work on all the other screws here. Again, not tighten them up completely at the moment. I just want to get all of these into place first. And now I tighten them up as much as tight as I can get them. Now that's in place. I'm going to turn it upside down or the right way around so you can see what that looks like. Just like that. And as you can see, the front of the vehicle is now on looking absolutely brilliant. So once that's completed, what we want to do is we want to trowel these wires over the pillars here and we're going to be channeling them through this section just here. Now we have got these little cable sort of tidies here that just push over the points that we've got here. So I'll get one in, show you what that looks like. Just like that, push it down. That will hold that cable into place. And we do the same just with the one behind it there. Push that into place. That's just going to keep it tidy for when we put it over the top of the uh, main vehicle. We're not going to be pinching any wires. We do the same on the other side here. One here. Just like that. Make sure they're pushed all the way down. And then just take this little bend out here. We'll put the second one in. Just like that. Make sure they're all pushed down completely. And there we go. That's the wires trunked through there. I need to turn the vehicle over again now because we just want to work on these sections here and we're going to be putting the surrounds in which look just like that now they are slanted and because they're slanted it looks like one of them has got a slightly longer uh, peg at the bottom so that dictates what way round it goes the the longer peg goes towards the edge of the uh, bonnet there so what you want to do is you want to push this sort of where it is but open up the bonnet and then hold it from underneath push it into place and there we go that's the first one in do the same on the other side I'm looking for the longer peg which looks to be this one so I'll put that towards the outside there push that into place you'll hear it click in when it comes it should be flush on there as well make sure that your pegs underneath still line up with that which mine do as you can see no problems at all lift that back up now it's probably really good to actually look at the pictures for this because this is going to be very hard for me to show. Uh, but what we're going to do is push it through just the hole. We've got holes either side of these pegs here. Push it through the hole here. Just like that. Then you want to get yourself some mini pliers here because you want to bend this up and round this section so it's not going to fall out. So I've got my pliers and I'm bending it up and round. So that's the first one on. We're going to do the one on the other side here as well. And that's the second one on there as well. I'm just going to put the bonnet back down again, making sure these lanyards are coming out either side. And then all we're going to do is thread through this section here, through the hole of the top of the pin there. And if the hole is blocked up in your one, you might want to just get yourself a little pin vise just to uh, take the flashing out of the pin. Now, if you follow this picture, this is how you attach the lanyards to the bonnet. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So we can uh, take the main vehicle away again because we're going to be working on the trunk lid looking like that. So we get this open. Now stage 88, nice quick stage this is going to be. What we need to do first is we've got the latch for the trunk here. That's just going to go into the two holes that we can see here, just like that. And they're going to be held in with two times MD11 screws. So I'll get these open. Once again, these are going into metal. So I'm just going to drop these screws in a little bit of oil there. Line this up. Not too much at the moment, just enough. Once again, just so I can uh, get the other side in. And we'll make this nice and tight. We've got on the back of the uh, trunk there, we've got place to put the emblem here. We've got the Super Snake emblem, and this is just a push to fit into the holes 
just like that. And there we go. <laughs> just doing that. Look how much that makes that cup pop. That's brilliant. And uh, with all of that, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now the penultimate stage is uh, stage 89, looking just like that. We're gonna be working on the lower rear body part. So we get all of these pieces out and we're gonna need to bring over the vehicle again because we're gonna be attaching this lower rear part to the bottom of the vehicle. So I'm gonna turn it upside down, probably best on the side camera. And as you can see, we've got four lug holes here. They're just gonna match these holes either side here. So this is gonna go on just like that. They're gonna be held into place with MD02 screws. So I have put some oil in this. Let's line this up, just like that. I'll put this side in first. As a matter of fact, I'll turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, we'll get this screw in. That's the first one in, that's the third. I said there's four, there's actually uh, six. <laughs> because we've got the ones in the middle here as well. So that's number four there. And when they're all in place, they should look just like that. Once again, I'm gonna take this away and put this over the far side. I'm gonna put another cloth down here because I'm gonna be working on the hinges just for the trunk here. Now this is what the hinges look like and they're gonna be going here and on the other side here with these sections in the middle facing inwards. Now they're gonna be held in with MD06 screws. Once again, metal screws. So I am gonna put these in some oil. The third on this side over here. And here's the fourth. And then I'll just tighten all of these up. Bring the vehicle across again on its towel. And quite simply, we're just going to be attaching these hinges just into this section here. So this is basically gonna go into the channels that we can see either side here. So they sit just like that in the channels. And then quite simply, we've got these little pegs which are gonna keep this in place here. They go over like that to keep that in place, but they're gonna be held in just with a screw there, which is an MD06 again. So I'm actually holding this closed with my fingers just so it keeps this in place here. And I'll put that in place. Once we've got one side in, again, I'm not making that too tight. I can do the other side over here, exactly the same way, over the top ready to put an MD06 screw in there and now I'll make this as tight as I can get it and there we go that's holding that in place and it enables it to close and open no problems at all now if I turn this whole vehicle over again just so you can see where we're up to at the moment probably best on the side camera that is what we've got from the front end here and then the back end as you can see the trunk can open and close that's all there is to do in that stage. Now the last stage of this, I'll tell you what, this, this pack has been absolutely amazing. It's taken probably around about four hours so far to get where I'm up to, but I have been taking my time. So editing's gonna be fun for this, uh, but we're gonna be doing stage 90. As you can see, we've got all the rear lights now to put in. So I'm gonna open all this now. So I'm gonna bring the vehicle back over again. And once again, I'm going to turn it upside down because it's this back section we need, and we need this uh, gas pipe holder, which looks just like this. It's actually got some aligning lugs on here. We're actually gonna screw it into that hole. So this is gonna go in here like this. And then we're gonna secure it from the other side with an MP05 screw. Now we're gonna be working on the gas cap, which opens and closes, which has brilliant Super Snake logo on it. We need to put a hinge in here. Now you can see some tiny holes in here. Now the hinge, is even smaller. So what we need to do is we need to attach the hinge, be on the close-up camera there, I'm gonna hold it in my hand just like that. And it's gonna be put in with some MPO7 screws, which are really tiny. 
so as you can see I've lined that up there I'm getting the first screw in there to put the hinge in one side and then the other side here looking just like that probably better on the top camera actually just going to go into the screw hole on that side so we'll get an MPO7 in there and when that's in that should look just like that which will enable you to uh, open it get my fingers in there just like that a little bit like a locket <laughs> so there we go that's that into place now this is just going to go into this section just here make sure we put it in so it follows the shape of the uh, of where it goes here pushing these uh, lugs in and then push it into place and it's going to be secured in on the other side here just with some MP02 screws So I've got that ready here, put the first side in here. Now keep that nice and tight to the back of the vehicle. Put the other side in. And I'll turn this around, even though it's upside down. That's how that should look. So now we're going to be putting in the reflectors. The first reflector we want to put in is the right one. It is labeled R for right on here. This is just going to go into this channel here just like that uh, so it's going to come out the other side here then we need to take some electrics we've got these electrics here which are labeled number 10 this is going to marry up with what we see here now basically it goes this way around so it fits into the wires that we can see here so that's going to go in just like that so it fits pretty flush in there we'll put this lead here just behind that post and then we're going to want to put a cover over it. This is what the cover looks like with a notch at the top. That notch over the top, it's just going to go underneath that screw there. So when this goes in, it's going to look just like that over this. And we're going to hold this into place with two times MPO1 screws. So we've got the first screw here, holding everything together because this is going to sort of sandwich everything together. I've got the first one in there. Let's uh, just do the other side. And make that nice and tight that's the first one and there we go and that's basically the reflector in place there we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side here and that's the second side in and then that's basically all the reflectors in place I keep calling them reflectors I mean real lights <laughs> and then the last thing we need to do is just tidy up all of these wires from the back here so we have got some little tiny cable tidies like we had last time so I'll put one of them in this side here I use my screwdriver just to push it down into the center there we'll do the same on the other side hopefully you can see this on the top camera the next ones along are slightly smaller they look the same just slightly smaller tabs so I'll put this one in this side here there we go push that down and the same just on the other side here in and then push down and let's move this into the middle here just across the door frame here as you can see we've got some that we actually plug in so they look just like this with some pegs at the back so we're going to run this up over the uh, shaft here and then put the first one in at the top here and push that into place and then the next one we've got is just on the other side here exactly the same way push that in like that and then we do the same on the other side so over this section here that's the first one in the last one and then guess what that once I got this one in here is everything there is to do in that pack what an absolutely enjoyable pack that was look at that now we've got the wires to put in at the front here but wow let me show you this on my uh, phone and I'm sure you'll agree wow that 
is absolutely awesome. What an amazing pack that was. I've kept the lanyards off for a second, as you can see there, because we are going to have to keep opening and closing the uh, bonnet there. But that is pretty amazing. So what did you think of that, huh? <laughs> it's just so impressive. Um, if you want to get hold of this yourself, one more pack to go now. Uh, just head again over to agoramodels.com and you can get this for yourself. They do do a full pack option now, so you can get the whole run all in one go. But head over there and you'll be able to do that. This has taken near on five hours, but I'm so happy because I really took my time over it. There's no scratches and everything's gone together absolutely perfect. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.